and not to even get into the practical applications. <laughs> if you put ketchup on a door hinge, door hinge is gonna get uh, gross and you're gonna have ants, you're gonna have an issue. But you put mayonnaise on a door hinge, you don't hear that squeak anymore. Okay? But you still and, have ants. And ants right? don't eat mayonnaise? No, 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 the no, best no. Condiment it, in there's the no sugar, no, sorry, there's no sugar. Money. You're just putting mayonnaise on a, on a door? Uh, it, What's up guys, welcome to Hot Take, the show where we have smart people argue about really absurd things. Every week we give our defendant a fresh hot take that they have to defend against our prosecution. Spread the love. I don't need to pay for that. I am also, that. Also, 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 first thing that. that was said. I don't you to Both teams compete for amazing prizes and there are a few curveballs along the way. The defendant has a whole week to prepare their argument while our prosecution comes in completely blind. Can our defendant maintain their questionable hot take or will our prosecution poke holes in their defense? I thought that was the question. Okay, we're sure. Let's find out on Hot Take. What's up? Welcome to Hot Take. It's a debate show in which people who are relatively smart debate about things that are not. Uh, we have a prosecution and they have no idea what they're gonna be hearing today. We have a defendant who has not told anyone what their argument is gonna be, and we have me, who decides who wins in the end. Uh, but before we go any further, we gotta introduce our sweet, sweet, lovely contestants today. Let's go over to the prosecution, where we have Brittany Johnson. Brittany, how are you tonight? I'm great. Dan Hodap is here too. Dan Hodap, how are you this evening? I, I'm doing so well. Uh, James Larson is here as well. Are you uh, you excited about, about this? Super excited. Okay, we have a defendant here today who we're very excited about. We have Ashton Harold. I have no idea what he's gonna argue. You don't know what he's gonna argue. They don't know what he's gonna argue. But what I do know is that we are not just here to argue for S words and giggles. We are here to fight for a prize, right? Because we live in a society where all that matters is material acquisition. So today, our prize is, just like a, it's a little fella. Yeah, it's a little fella. It's a little, and there's a, you can put stuff in it. Who um, put weed in it? What's that black spot on the back? I don't know, this isn't. He's a little spooky. It's a little fella. Uh, yeah, I don't like it. We know what the prize is. We know who's here. We know what the stakes are. It's time to get into it, Ashton. What are you going to be defending tonight? Uh, it's something near and dear to my heart, something I truly believe in, something that you will soon also believe in, which is mayonnaise is the best condiment. I can tell by your faces that you don't, uh, you don't necessarily agree. Now, let, let me tell you why it's important that we talk about this. Whoa, whoa, you have been asked nothing. Okay, we have rules here, okay? The rules are, you get to introduce your topic. You all then get to start asking questions. Can I just go ahead? You can, I'm just gonna remind Ashton real quick, once the question is asked, you have 60 seconds to respond, okay? Wow. Go ahead, Brittany. I hate the taste of mayonnaise. Why is mayonnaise the best condiment? I'm here to argue that it is objectively the best condiment, whether you like it or not. Its qualities make it incredible. Uh, I could go into it. I will go into it. Um, I, I still have time. I just I don't want to. I don't want to give it all away just yet. But for instance, it's uh, versatility. Um, it's uh, it's simpleness and it's it's universal. Uh, I'll, I'll get in. I'll get into more what this uh, means. But it, thank you for asking because I do want to clarify that I'm not saying it's your favorite. I'm saying it's just the best. Do you understand the the to difference you. there? No, it's objectively the best because of- Do you of, understand the difference there? That was no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be condescending. O only I want to make sure that we are all on the same page that I'm, I'm proving to you not that you like it, only that it's the most versatile, it is the most universally loved, and it's just the GOAT. Like I couldn't, you know, if you didn't root for the Patriots, yeah, I couldn't- time's up. James? You look like you have I, a question. I do have a question, but I just want to say that that answer was more of just restating the argument, you didn't really give anything on that. So if with this question, please give me a little bit more. Have you had every condiment on earth? Ooh, Incredible question. Wow, 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 wow. You have 60 seconds to tell us if you have in fact had every condiment on earth. All right, 60 seconds. <clears throat> no. We don't, you I have, have not to, you had have every at all. condiment on earth. 
And now, you're, there's some time on the board. I'm gonna take some liberty with James's question. I, I think what he's getting at is, how can one evaluate that something is the best when one has not tried everything within that category? That's a, that's a great, that's a great uh, you know, thing to say. Um, though I haven't tasted every single condiment, I've tasted a, my fair amount. I like to season. I like uh, accoutrement. I like, uh, you know, to, to spice it up, one might say. Uh, hot sauces, ketchups, mustards. There's tons of different kinds of mustards, you know. Um, but <laughs> they all pair in com pale in comparison to the great mayonnaise. Uh, it's, it's a simple thing, you know. It's, well, well I'll, I'll wait. There are many kinds of mayonnaise, many brands. No. In fact, I also hate mayonnaise. However, we'll have a, like a wasabi mayonnaise or like a, a sriracha mayonnaise that is made superior by another condiment. How do you explain how another condiment makes the best condiment better? I'm so glad you asked that. And for that, I will power up! This is the part where he gets to use a PowerPoint presentation to further convey his argument. It's a very simple thing, mayonnaise. It's eggs. It's oil. And it's vinegar or lemon juice. Those are all good things. They're all good things. They're all things that I'm sure each of you eat. You eat eggs. Maybe you don't, but most people do. Oil, cook with it, eat it. Either of these, come on. Like the sword of Gryffindor, it only takes on that which makes it stronger. Um, so I have a question. Point, oh yeah. Um, as an elder millennial, what is a Gryffindor? Uh, it's uh, sword of Gryffindor uh, appears, it makes itself known. Is to, it a Harry uh, Potter thing? It's a Harry Potter thing. Huh. So some people will know. It takes on only which makes it stronger uh, because it's not an overwhelming taste. If it's in something, it's not like cilantro where some people go, oh, I can taste it in this, it's ruined. It's in a ton of things that a lot of people don't realize it's in. And that's because it's not an overwhelming thing. It is the perfect conduit or, uh, what do you paint on? Canvas? Canvas for other things. Let's move it on, now's the I time. I didn't mean to help him that. And to I just, your point, he helped me because he's on board. To your point, it is made stronger by other things. You have aiolis, what you're talking about. Things that are flavored, but but it's it's a versatile thing. It could be Asian uh, with wasabi, like you said, or sriracha. It could be other things. But if you add sriracha to say a mustard, it's it's sriracha and mustard. It's not a, it's not a sriracha aioli. It's not a it's not a sriracha other sauces that that can be made uh, like uh, remoulade, fry sauce, tartar sauce. Not to mention, it's a non dairy substitute. People, I. I happen to suffer. I suffer from lactose intolerance. Oh. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's, it can be tough. Um, and you can make a ton of non-dairy alternatives with mayonnaise, easy. So much so that you wouldn't even know that I was making a ranch dressing, which I'm sure you guys, that's, I mean, that's pretty universally loved. You can make ranch dressing with mayonnaise only. A lot of times it's in there. Uh, you can also make a blue cheese uh, dressing, non-dairy hollandaise sauce. It allows for a creaminess that I have put in, you may think this is disgusting, but I, I think gross. everyone should try this. If you can't have cream and you want like a creamy pasta sauce, put mayonnaise in it. It's already in there. Olive oil, eggs, vinegar. These are things that are already in the food. And not to even get into the practical application. <laughs> if you put ketchup on a door hinge, door hinge is gonna get gross and you're gonna have ants, you're gonna have an issue. But you put mayonnaise on a door hinge, you don't hear that squeak anymore. Okay? But you still and, have ants. And ants right? don't eat mayonnaise? Yeah. No, 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 the no, best no. condiment it, in the whole no There's no sugar. No, sorry, there's no sugar. sugar. You're just putting mayonnaise on a, on a door? Uh, if you don't have WD-40, I'm just saying, if, if, I, if I like needed a, a condiment that could also be a home improvement tool, mayonnaise is the only one. It is universal. Just like, just like every culture around the world has invented alcohol out of the need to get blitzed, Every culture around town, I mean, dating back to the 14th century, people have been emulsifying these ingredients. All around the world, in Japan. Is that a mayonnaise hot dog? This is a really big That's thing so in, in Chile. Whoa, in Chile. No offense, Chileans. Chile is the, uh, is the is the is the num number one in Latin America for mayonnaise, number three in the entire world, okay? And you can go on to the next slide. 
Do it! Oh, yeah, yeah, I knew you guys would like that. Dun, dun, dun. Gross. Okay, I'm judging this objectively. This isn't about me, it's about the argument. I feel physically sick after seeing that. If I ever go to Chile, I will not eat one of those sandwiches. Try it. I could be at a meeting with the Chilean consulate and they could say, not eating this is an act of aggression towards our entire culture. And I would say, so be it. Question, I'm gonna follow up this. Don't sometimes people say that egg is dairy? It's like a thing people say sometimes. I have, I have had It to. sounds stupid, but people say that, right? I I've feel heard like that. you're yeah. right, because no. I had that people in my head say, too. And they'll say that mayonnaise is dairy. People will say, oh, I can't have mayonnaise because I, I can't have dairy. I have been lactose intolerant. I've been off dairy. I'm getting back on it now with the help of lactate. Um, but my entire, my entire life from like, I don't know, 18 until now, I've been completely devoid of dairy. So I would walk into places, mind you, mayonnaise is my favorite because I know I'm acutely aware. It has nothing to do with dairy. These eggs don't come out of udders, right? So I walk in, I say, hey, does this pasta salad have any dairy in it? They go, oh yeah, you can't have it. I say, is the dairy mayonnaise? And they go, yeah. And I go, that's not dairy, it's cool. So before we go any further, I want to do a check-in, um, not how we're doing physically because I feel like this side is not feeling good. Bad. Physically ill. Yeah. yeah. How are you feeling at this point? Dan? I feel uh, physically ill. I'm. Yeah. Yeah. I really. Do. I'm not like lying. This isn't like a bit. I'm not like I'm trying no, to be funny. No, like, it, I, that no. made me feel. Really sick. I have does. a very sensitive stomach, and I am upset. I liked mayonnaise before this presentation. Ashley, how do you feel like you're doing? I, I feel like I know how you feel like you're doing, but I'm gonna let you say it. Feeling. I'm feeling feeling a oly one or or something. I'm feel like I'm getting an a oly grade. Oh, a really man. good. It's good. A plus. A oly is a plus. Oh man. If you didn't want this. Okay, let's. <laughs> get, uh, I'm here for let's, this. Okay? Let's get All back right. to the questions. I think we we've had a power up. We've had three questions on this side. We have three more questions plus another power up. Who wants to go? I Damn. do have one. I need proof in the sense that. Uh, if mayonnaise is the best condiment, then it would be the best selling condiment. And mm. I am not convinced that that is the best selling condiment. What is and where does mayonnaise fall? Um, Market logic, this is good. Um, and once again, 60 seconds to respond to that question about the economic viability of commercially produced mayonnaise. It's a totally reasonable question to ask. I mean, my brain went there as well as I was preparing for this. Um, sadly, it does pale in market uh, to ketchup. Um, not in uh, not in Russia. Um, I'll just put that out there. <laughs> Doesn't in Russia. Uh, so that's that's a data point. Um, but if the markets <laughs> if the markets dictated what the best thing was, why aren't we investing in clean fuel? Why aren't we investing in uh, things that are gonna you know like climate change? Okay. Just because the market dictates something doesn't mean that this thing isn't the best. If if we went off what the market did, I mean. I'd be sitting here saying coal is the best thing we could be doing for our nation. And you know what? And it is, None. because nothing Oil powers nuts. America better than coal. coal. Please don't use that. It's not me, okay, I'm not. So what I will say to that question is, I think it's a totally valuable uh, data point to use. It is exceedingly high. It is the ingredient for tons of other uh, sauces, but yeah. I, I, was, I went both ways on that one. Um, Brittany or James, who wants to go? If mayonnaise is so great, why do so many people hate it? There are tons of things that people are just uninformed about and they hate because they were raised without it. You know, ignorance is a big problem in the United States. And if you embrace things like mayonnaise, if you embrace the change, if you go to Chile and you say, yeah, I think I'll try that. I think it's Chile. Chile, my, my apologies. If you go to these places and you think, yes, I will try that, I guarantee you, your life will be more full. It's not, it's not cool to not like things. And let me tell you, I guarantee you there's an application of mayo that you will eat and like. I guarantee you that if I put it in some pasta dishes, that if I put it in a sandwich, or if I, if I put it in, in different applications to lubricate a sandwich, or lubricate your mouth in some ways, I guarantee you, your if, mouth. I, if I gave you, if I, I'm sorry for saying that, if I gave you a ranch dressing that was devoid of dairy and had mayonnaise in it, and you thought it was Hidden Valley and you ate it with pizza, you'd be happy, most likely. Prosecution, you have one final question to ask, and please no more pictures. So, we will be having this as a power up. Power up time! Ah! This is the thing, if, the, if they do a power up prosecution, it means that the defendant has to talk for two entire minutes on the thing. If he doesn't, I guess he loses, but we've actually never, we never gotten to the point where we figured out what happens. I guess they lose by default. If I am vegan or allergic to eggs, 
why should I think mayonnaise is the best condiment outside of, you know, slathering up door hinges to make it Absolutely. work better? Um, there is a large market for vegan mayonnaise. Uh, mayonnaise is, is something that is so universally loved that, like in vegan markets, they make alternatives because it's something that just because your, uh, you know, your food preferences or dietary restrictions may outlaw, it, you know, it doesn't really mean that you shouldn't enjoy that same kind of niche. You know, you shouldn't, shouldn't eat a dry sandwich is what I'm saying. Okay. Nobody, I feel like nobody should be subjected to eating a dry sandwich. I want to put that out there. It's a, it's a human right. Um, it's human right. It's a human right. And just because of uh, one individual's, um, you know, dietary restrictions, it doesn't negate the fact that it is the most, uh, like, uh, Is vegan mayonnaise still mayonnaise? <clears throat> That's, that's a, that's a different thing. Ask. That's a different thing. Okay. Uh, that's not. That's not what I'm here. That's not what I'm here to prove to you. Have I'm you only here to prove to you water that's, that the, the you emulsified know. ingredients that I've stated are simple. They're things that most everybody eats. If you're a vegan and you don't eat them, I mean, there's a lot of things that you can't eat. But that doesn't mean that like a. I don't know the percentages of vegans in the world, but you know, it's a minority. Uh, and, hey Siri, uh, what's the percentage of vegans in the world? Pause the clock. What's okay. Oh. I found this on the web for what's the percentage of vegans. He's not even gonna say it out loud. Check it out. The gall. Um, but anyway. She didn't say it. Uh, what I'm getting at here is, it, is just because you can't eat it, it doesn't negate. Just because you don't like it, it doesn't negate the fact that it could still be an aioli, a remoulade, it could still be non-dairy alternative. It is way. It has so many applications that any other condiment, and I've yet to hear anybody say a condiment that it comes anywhere near uh, the, you know, the roundedness. The, ketchup. Uh, what are you gonna do with ketchup? What are you gonna do with everything? I like hot sauce a lot. Hot, hot sauce, sauce. Yeah, doesn't go with everything. Doesn't go with everything. Uh, ketchup. Pines ketchup. Number one ingredient. Great time. He made it. You know what? Great accomplishment. Great accomplishment. Great accomplishment. Thank you. We all did it. At the beginning of, of this debate, right, you put mayonnaise on the screen pretty early. So I'm really sorry about that. And when you did, I felt physically unwell. But I'll say something. A lot of people in this world, like, are afraid to believe in things. You know, we live at a time where belief scares us. You know, it's easy to be just like another minnow in the pack, going with the flow of whatever the culture tells us. And I, I respect that. I think it's brave. Um, and I, I did see a level of commitment right here, uh, a level of pathos that was inspiring. You know, I, I was thinking to myself, like, I want to love something the way he loves mayonnaise. However, some, some things were said from some folks over here um, about the difference between mayonnaise being an ingredient or a condiment. I think, James, I think you said that recently. I yelled it, yes. He yelled it. And all that said is, we have a little fella. The little fella today <laughs> is going to the side that was right. Man, this is gross. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's so I gross. Love it. I That's love the argument That's style. That's not about the art. I love it. It's not good. It's there's oh, hot sauce. Geez. There's scary. there's sriracha. Everyone, quick name name a condiment you like. Barbecue, Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. I like sriracha. Sriracha. Honey mustard. Oh, hot sauce. Actually, thank you so much today for being here. You left it all on the field, and that's the best we can ask for. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you to James for showing up and dressing well. Thank you to Dan for coming through and having a confident demeanor the whole time. Thank you, Brittany, for, for sometimes being vulnerable, I felt, and letting us know how you feel about mayonnaise and letting that drive the conversation a little bit. So this has been a mayonnaise-covered hot take. I, I've been your host, Michael. We'll be back soon with no mayo. See you then.